The FAA has officially granted a launch license for Starship Flight 7, paving the way for SpaceX's upcoming mission, which is set to launch in the near future. This milestone could be an ideal New Year's gift for space enthusiasts around the world. In an exciting development, we are pleased to report the rapid progress of the water cooling system on Launchpad B. Beyond that, there is much to consider. Recent developments have emerged regarding SpaceX and Elon Musk's visionary aspirations to transform Texas into an innovative urban development hub. Let's dive in. On today's NR Studio episode, we will discuss this and much more. On Tuesday, December 17th, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, granted a launch license for SpaceX's highly anticipated Starship Flight 7 test. This milestone paves the way for the world's largest rocket to advance to its next stage from South Texas. The FAA is actively improving the efficiency of its licensing process to align with the evolving requirements of the commercial space transportation sector. Kelvin B. Coleman, Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation at the FAA said, The issuance of this license modification comes well ahead of the launch of Starship Flight 7, further exemplifying the FAA's commitment to facilitating safe space transportation. This advancement not only authorizes Flight 7, but also underscores the FAA's commitment to streamlining licensing procedures for future launches, thereby facilitating greater mission frequency. While a definitive timetable for Starship Flight 7 has not been definitively set, indications suggest a launch could occur in the near future. A NASA correspondence to the FAA alluded to a prospective timeline in January, when the agency sought authorization to deploy an observation aircraft to monitor the Starship upper stage. Nonetheless, SpaceX has successfully conducted static fire tests of its first and second stages, a critical pre-launch procedure in the past two weeks. This suggests the potential for a launch in December. In light of ongoing speculation, it is noteworthy that no road closures have been declared for Cameron County, Texas, the site of SpaceX's Starbase for the remainder of December. Road closures are usually implemented prior to Starship launches. Therefore, the lack of such notifications renders the schedule subject to speculation. Should the launch occur prior to the year's conclusion, it may present an exhilarating gift for space enthusiasts globally, coinciding with the festive celebrations of Christmas or New Year's. In contrast to prior Starship launches, which typically saw the stacking of the rocket stages at the launch pad shortly after receiving FAA approval, SpaceX has yet to undertake this crucial step. Nonetheless, the company persists in achieving substantial advancements. Recently, SpaceX undertook a singular test of its Raptor vacuum engine for in-space relighting, a capability successfully showcased during Flight 6. The capability to reignite the engine while in orbit is crucial for facilitating orbital modifications particularly in response to unforeseen anomalies. FAA officials supplied further insights in the revised license. The Flight 7 mission paradigm encompasses the liftoff of the integrated Starship Super Heavy apparatus from Boca Chica, Texas, followed by a return of the Super Heavy booster rocket to its launch site for a catch endeavor executed by the launch tower, culminating in a maritime descent of the Starship vehicle into the Indian Ocean, situated to the west of Australia. This mission aims to reassess goals established in prior flights, advancing the frontiers through ambitious enhancements and novel experimentation. Starship Flight 7 is set to incorporate several pivotal advancements aimed at enhancing the spacecraft's performance, such as re-engineered forward flaps to optimize aerodynamics, expanded fuel tanks to bolster mission endurance, and a refined thermal shield with upgraded heat shield tiles to promote greater reusability. Musk has alluded to a potential relaunch of orbital adjustments, indicating enhancements in the orbital maneuvering capabilities of Starship. These enhancements collectively exemplify SpaceX's unwavering commitment to excellence as it endeavors to establish Starship as the foundation of next-generation space exploration. A particularly intriguing facet of the FAA's licensing framework is its incorporation of provisions designed to facilitate expedited follow-up launches. The health and safety executive delineated exceptions regarding test-induced damage for Flight 7, identifying specific anomalies that, if occurring within established safety parameters, would not necessitate an extensive investigation. These exceptions encompass thermal shield malfunction in elevated temperature conditions, flap system dysfunction under high dynamic pressure, Raptor engine failure occurring during the Starship's landing burn, Raptor engine failure during in-space demonstration burns, 
and super heavy system failure while engaging the post-booster recovery vehicle. This proactive strategy safeguards public safety while enabling SpaceX to uphold its ambitious launch schedule without unwarranted interruptions. These advancements significantly enhance the feasibility of more frequent Starship launches, bringing us closer than ever to this prospect. SpaceX's bold aspirations for 2025 entail a substantial increase in launch frequency, with Flight 7 serving as a crucial milestone towards achieving this goal. Anticipation intensifies as the countdown to Flight 7 progresses. Please share your predictions for the launch date in the comments section. One can never underestimate the possibility of making an accurate conjecture. Should you share our enthusiasm for the promising future of Starship, we encourage you to comment promptly to herald a new year, brimming with revolutionary advancements from SpaceX. With that in mind, let us prepare for what is sure to be a landmark occasion in the realm of space exploration. In the context of preparation, SpaceX stands poised at the threshold of a significantly more ambitious future. Certainly, it's not merely the product launches that have generated enthusiasm among everyone. The advancement of new infrastructure at Starbase is unfolding at a remarkable rate, with Launchpad B emerging as a central hub of innovation. Aimed for finalization in early next year, this forthcoming enhancement will considerably bolster SpaceX launch capabilities. Central to these enhancements is the orbital launch mount, which is currently undergoing advanced development stages. Recently, visuals emerged depicting the installation of the initial segment of the water-cooled deck, an essential element of the new launch mount. This system is engineered to alleviate the significant heat and force produced during Starship launches by directing water across its surface, thereby promoting heat dissipation and reducing structural damage. Upon becoming operational, the water-cooled deck will establish a solid groundwork for the subsequent phase of orbital launches. An additional significant advancement is the establishment of a flame trench system at the Sanchez location. Recent visuals unveil a flame bucket architecture characterized by six C-shaped beams, three vertical steel columns along with a water distribution conduit. This design closely parallels the flame trench system evaluated earlier this year at Massey and signifies a substantial enhancement. The dual flame trench configuration is poised to enhance efficiency twofold in comparison to the existing single flame trench system. Upon completion, these components will be transported to the launch site and installed beneath the new OLM, thereby enhancing heat and exhaust management for the formidable Super Heavy Booster. In addition to these advancements, the launch pad B tower necessitates the installation of chopsticks and quickly connectable systems. These systems are critical for the processes of Starship stacking, fueling, and launch preparation, and their incorporation will finalize the operational capabilities of the tower. Collectively, these enhancements equip Starbase to evolve into a launch hub adept at accommodating the growing requirements of SpaceX's Starship initiative. Looking towards the future, SpaceX harbors even more ambitious aspirations for Starbase. The company has formally presented a petition to the local authorities seeking to establish the facility as an independent municipality. This initiative, revealed on December 12th, aims to cultivate Starbase into a self-sustaining spaceport community equipped with essential amenities to accommodate the expanding workforce necessitated by Starship development. SpaceX underscored the significance of this transformation, articulating that in order to expand the workforce essential for the swift development and production of Starship, it is imperative to cultivate Starbase as a cohesive community. The petition underscores the substantial economic impact that SpaceX has had in the Rio Grande Valley, including generating hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenue and contributions to local businesses and government entities. The measure would institutionalize SpaceX's responsibility to oversee local infrastructure, including roads, utilities, and public services, and facilitate the advancement of housing, education, in healthcare infrastructure. Musk has consistently pitched Starbase as a critical launch pad for Mars exploration, and this latest development highlights SpaceX's unwavering dedication to realizing that ambition. The Starbase facility, located near Boca Chica, Texas, has played a critical role in SpaceX's most ambitious endeavors. Recent accomplishments, including the successful in-space combustion of a single Raptor engine during Starship's sixth test flight, underscore the site's critical role in advancing reusable rocket technology. Preparations are currently underway for a seventh test flight scheduled for January 2025, 
which will attempt to achieve additional booster recovery at the launch site. Incorporating Starbase as a municipality would facilitate the development of the infrastructure and services needed to support an expanding community of employees and residents. SpaceX representatives articulated in the petition that the integration of Starbase would streamline the process necessary to develop the facilities needed to transform the area into a prime residential location for the many individuals who have already established their homes there, as well as for aspiring professionals who want to contribute to humanity's future advancement in space. The proposed integration builds on existing precedent. In 2021, Musk initially proposed the concept. However, this marks the first time that a formal petition has been filed, supported by Starbase residents. If approved, the decision would mark a significant step forward in SpaceX's development efforts and aspirations for humanity's future in the cosmos. In the coming years, Starbase is poised to grow into a vital facility that serves more than just as a launch site. Starbase is poised to evolve into a fully integrated spaceport community, facilitating humanity's advancement into the cosmos. As progress continues on Launchpad B and various infrastructure initiatives, SpaceX is strategically building the foundation for a future that previously seemed relegated to the realm of science fiction. The evolution of Starbase is a testament to SpaceX's aspirations and is a significant step forward in the quest to make Mars and beyond an achievable reality. That concludes today's episode. See you next time.